and know what they want to play. And as you can see here, they have strategies. They first pick the Bloodseeker here without any hesitation. So they're definitely confident with what they've got in this current lineup. Alright, so there we go. You heard it for here first, ladies. Through Indonesian team. Or just gaming. Post it. So there we go. ID versus Warriors Gaming game one. And so Darcy, you would favor Boom ID. Would you favor them purely from the draft alone, or would you just favor them because of just having played longer? Are there any reasons behind it? Would you think? I don't know. Maybe because they have a full team. Everyone's from the same country as well. That could actually help a lot. Yeah, I think they just have more synergy together right now and they're more comfortable with each other currently. I mean, WG is definitely potentially the stronger team and maybe has the better odds here. But, I mean, BoomID can definitely take this and I do I do like their draft here, so... Anyways, WG with this quick Firo. smoke play. Yep. Yep, so big advantage here for Firo and... Well, not my audio, it's just in sounds. Audio, it's, it's not sounds. popping up. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying to fix. I'm trying to fix it by the next game. But meanwhile, there we go. Quite surprised they didn't want to hang around and try to like force the issue again. Thought they maybe would have. But okay, never mind. I'll take the bounty runes and it's gonna be like a dual mid lane. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, I was having that bug as well. I think it was just a reboot bug. Yeah, so you just have to yeah, like, so you just like, bam your arrow buttons. Jaws. Really, dude. No, it's still, I got the same bug still. It's just static to your camera from the looks of it. Static to my camera? Like, you might have to restart. Alright. Team restart Dota. Alright, so radio podcast for now. Actually, not really. You guys still get some nice video. So it does take a light striker raid to the face. Fear are doing quite nice and should have the advantage here with the raid. Side of his to actually cancel the clarity. Sneaky player coming out here from Tower, but already f forced to pop that south really. That's gonna hurt him a lot. Place especially going up. Fear is just playing really aggressive here. Every chance Dreamer Cell gets to the creep wave immediately. Takes right. some spells to his face. Better now, Darcy? Better now, Darcy? Yep, I'm all good now. As you can Point. see here, so we see a Nakes and Rasta being played in the offline here, which is quite unusual in fact. But I guess the, the key here for WG is Velo's Blink Dagger. Once he has the Blink Dagger, they can start um, setting up kills and putting pressure. They do swap the lanes back up again. Nakes TPing down towards the bottom lane. I believe Vila will be getting one right now as well and hit, make his way up to top. But before that, they do go for the gang play here on the Batrider and it should be a successful kill. Yep, with the shots and of course the Boons Firefly will not really help you there. So, quick kill. Very nicely done. And... Or is gaming look much better? I would say look, they definitely look a bit more solid. Yep. Middle lane though. Ooh, Dreamo oh. Dreamo still gets the kill. Very clutch. He utilized the slider fist to avoid taking the last hit that would have potentially killed him there. Oh, as but the well. shards. Does he get the snipe? Five HP. No way. He gets out on five HP. That's that's unreal right there. And he's just gonna get his bottle at the same time. Might even get the bounty rune, but I think the touch. He gets he gets so I can just walk back to the lane, go back to base. Oh. Yep, and uh, as I said before, the Lena matchup against Ember is quite good generally, mainly because you can actually trigger the the fire remnants, uh, flame guard, sorry, very easily with Lena's spells, and at the same time just poke him constantly with the double null, which he did opt to go for. But that solo kill he got there is quite major here, so that's going to help him out a lot, even if he is struggling a little bit in terms of CS. Meanwhile easy. here, they do change the lanes once again. Looks like Bloodseeker heads towards the bottom. They have the Earth Spirit as well there for a gank play if they do see the Raster out on his own. Dazzle as well obviously backing him up. But yeah, this this is what WG kind of wants. They do want the Nakes against the Batrider here because he can utilize the Rage to get rid of all the stickies. So he's in no threat whatsoever. But at the same time here now, we decided 
WG decided to just put the axe jungling instead of actually playing the lane and keeping the Rasa just soaking up some XP in middle lane here once again. Oh, the side of this it should be enough. Flame God Tick actually brings him down, so it's gonna be a nice one for one trade, but it does favor the Ember a bit more. That was so clutch. He actually went all the way in. Yep, he does get the, the kill initially on the Lina with his actual Flame Guard AoE, but bottom lane now, Ross is in a bit of a pickle. Bloodseeker does spot him out, does get the W off, and Dying he's going down. One. Very easily. You don't want to be, you don't wanna be giving in your extra damage and all. Bloodseekers that hero. Teammates are low, they don't know it, but you're actually buffing another lane really, really hard. The extra damage from the third. Yep, Velo does so decide to go bottom for a play here. Shards? Oh, misses it. Use EU shards. Ooh. Middle lane, Middle they actually get the kill onto Fury one more time, and from having an advantage, it looks like the Ember Spirit is actually going to catch up. He's like, okay, I can't farm creeps, I'll farm you. Nice and easy. They, they've given the kill to him twice now, and actually, no, yeah, once, and the other two kills were basically his own handy. A really good play coming out here. Oh. Yep, I mean, we were talking about how In Your Dream used to be the mid play here, but they allowed this new talent to go middle instead. And as you can see, he's no pushover. He, he's been getting kills in the middle lane on his own. He got, what, two solo kills already on the Lina. And at the same time, he's doing a lot of work. He's level 6 now, so it's going to be a threat to reckon. Any rotation here from the Earth Spirit will be an easy kill on the Lina here. So the Ross is forced to play middle just to help him out here. But at the same time, we see Batrider on the top side. He does get spotted out. So there's more TPs coming from WG's lineup. They do need the numbers to win this. So let's see if Boom does decide to kind of dive the Lina here. And yeah, as you can see, Fury baiting him right now. Yep, no, going with the snowball with the shackle as well. Do they have the LSA? But no, looks like they will turn on to Fury. Instead, getting you know, some really, really big issues with the rock and the flame god. So that's going to be the Spirit Brothers getting themselves another kill onto Fury. Dream Bottom lane though, Velo. Velo really wants Kes cute. He thinks he's cute, but nah, not cute enough for him to go for that any longer. So in your dream, gonna be happy with that. And actually, Bad Rider getting himself a kill onto screen. Help from. I love it, Joe Cam as well. They're not done as well. In. They want Fiero. Marcel is there with the steering chains. Oh, Lina has to be so tilted if he dies here as well. Fly solo. He needs to help his team at the LSA. Uh, put the boulder smash into Fiero's face. They want to keep on going. And I think Joe Cam should get the kill here unless Fiero can turn things around. Oh no, he's died again after TPing in the disaster. Then they want to go back in. All the spirits, do they have enough mana to right click? Fly solo down. Here comes the snowball. He's overextended. Maybe not. Or oh, is he actually just going to be able to walk this one off? He does have the Venom, but the Dazzle's here, so they might try to turn this around. There is a Shrine here, wow, but do they have enough damage to afraid. kill him? They're not afraid. Nope. And the, this Tusker will definitely be getting a kill here. Oh, that's going to be the shards onto one support. Dream Cell, he has the haste and they're going to shrine up themselves as well. And while all of this was happening, in your dream, let's have three farm in the bottom lane. He's 46 and 11, and Boom ID actually having the advantage in this lane. Kills, 7-4. Yep. BMID do have the more aggressive lineup in the early game. Not saying WG does not as well, but the Bloodseeker here being kind of untouched does lead in terms of CS. The Nox is not too far off, but the rotations and the Ember having this kind of a start is a little problematic for WG. The only way they can really start on the Ember is if the Axe gets a, a Blink Dagger, which is not nearly close enough to do so. And now he does have a haste rune here, so they're going to try and make another play in the middle lane here, utilizing the ember. There is two heroes <laughs> towards the top side of the jungle, but they are spotted and back away. Alright, Darcy, I might have to switch over to guy because I think we're having echo issues. I'm not sure where the echo is coming from. I think it's coming from your end. Really? Yeah, but okay, LSA, Ember Spirit popped the flame, got out of the Laguna bit too slow. Fero at this point is tilted. He's level 6, the Ember is level 8. He had such a great start against him. And an invisible. Look at the bounty rune as well. Basically, leapfrogs over Fero. Spirit though, got caught in the shrine. And he should be falling down here. But the Ember here might be looking to make a play. No, it decides just to ditch him and go back to the middle lane. 
up lane. Miracle actually Miracle went really, actually really hard, hard on the bat rider and forced bat the bat rider out of the lane. Of the Miracle, lane. he had that work. Salvage the situation before he's now so that Fury can at least have just about just to get his soul ring, take out the wards as well, so, so much pressure onto Fiero. Yep, this mid lane emphasis here by Boom is quite huge. They do commit sentries and wards to definitely keep him ahead of the matchup, but at the same time, the Bloodseeker is being left alone and they can't really stop him from farming here. Boom does invade the jungle, they get some deep wards out. Nice ward, he does TP, but he will be getting spotted, and now he will be... Miracle's getting line. baited. Yep. Okay, so they're gonna have the last one for this. Just have, have to. There's an infest. Silence up, but they realize they don't have enough damage. And over in the jungle, meanwhile, Fly Solo actually gets another kill. Where's he getting these random kills from? Like, 6 to 7, and Warriors giving fighting back. Yep, the Dazzle does get that ward out, which he kind of traded out his life. He almost got away, just barely got cancelled his TP, but. In the end of the day, if that wood doesn't get T-Wood, but <laughs> as I said that, Fly Solo did spot him moving into the jungle and they will decide to give the wood to the axe to accelerate his blink dagger pickup. That 100 gold, life of support, even when you buy the wood, the wood, the wood, you're still not getting the wood. And Fury, you can see he's really far behind, he's two levels behind the embers. Once again, like you said, all this emphasis onto the ember and the Lina just... Can't win this. He can't really lane against this Ember right now, if you think about it. Ember can just nice side of this, and he dodges the LSA. He can actually run for a kill. Oh, Spirit comes. Pull the smash, and Fair is just dead. Because Lina's quite slow as a hero. Yeah, Dreamer Cell definitely outplayed him in the lane here. Generally, this is a Lina favorite matchup, but. The Ember managed to get a nice um, kill on its own with the Slide of Fist play. And bottom lane here, Fly Solo getting ruptured. In your dream, so the TP out from Fly Solo with the heal bomb. Will it be enough damage? Apparently it will be. Below will not be doing but okay, now they want to turn around. What are they going for? Here comes the Bat Rider as well, going for the call. In your dream, they want to kill this Bloodseeker. Do they have the damage? And no, the Infest Bomb will not be enough. Now, this now is going the problem. for the Fly and the last up as well. Velo. Everyone's reloading. In your dream, just hiding them around. And with so much right click damage, they find yep. all two kills and in the middle lane, Pharaoh dying again. Solo killed by Dreamer Cell. The tilt is real. GG and mid. <laughs> and this is the main reason why they emphasize so much on middle. Because Lena, if it is a 50, like let's say there's no ganks coming through and the wards are about even in terms of mid kind of emphasis. But they did get the, the head start on the Ember and then they kept ganking middle. So now Fuhrer doesn't actually have a place to lane. He can't stay middle, he can't go bottom. And he's going to be forced to kind of just play from behind or jungle himself. And that's not what, what you really want on Lina these days. Lina is a hero that you don't really want to play from behind. He does very good if he's ahead and it becomes too hard to kill once he gets his Bloodstone. Because he can just res even if you commit on him. But... At this point here, they have two heroes to worry about, which is the Emperor and the Bloodseeker. Two heroes they can't even lane against currently. And as you can see, the Nakes is forced to go towards the top lane here to try and scavenge some farm. He does almost have his armlet. But until Velo has his Blink Dagger here, it will be very hard. But Earth Spirit here getting caught by the Tusker roll. Velo following up, and it should be a kill. Yep, with the Dunker spell for Velo. Alright, Darcy, we have to quickly switch over to Skype because of this lot of Echo for Hey guys, we just look. App change. Radiance Bottom Tower has uninvited guests. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer just fortified their structures. Radiance Bottom okay, right. Tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Uh, yeah, so far, guys. Not missing on him much. Serpent Ward's gonna be used to win it. Lane. Come and get it. A tool to teach. All right, I'll just call him when he's actually online. Okay, now they go for a smoke play. I do apologize for that guy. Are uh, trying to fix all the sound issues. It's a bit last minute. Discord was actually working. I'm not sure what went wrong. So we'll try to fix this all by the time it's game. So don't worry. Apologize one more time for. Yep, he's just trying to log on to Skype. But 11 to 8 and boom ID, the Indonesians actually have a 2k advantage over gaming. 
Been to the bottom lane, they want to try to turn around for a fight here. They actually go for a very nice shards and of course with the Warriors Punch. Now they're trying to kill Bloodseeker, but the Curse Cute is there. The Grave will not save him. Boulder Smash, they actually want to turn onto the Axe. It might be enough. Jivami coming in right now. Miracle, oh dear, down goes Vila. Miracle, he tried to go for the open wounds of the Dreamer Cell. But now Infest into Fly Soul just to be safe. Looked like they thought they found themselves a kill. Magnetize is going to be used. And okay, down goes Shadow Shaman. Looks like they will find Miracle as well, who pops the Rage. He's trying to get out. Screen, he doesn't have mana for the shards. And that's going to be two heroes down. Ember Spirit with the plays. Triple kill. And Dream Cell, top of the net worth. La winning the lanes doesn't mean you win the game, actually. And we can see it right here, Boom ID. Money to burn. Middle lane. In your dream, he's not really that fat, but net worth, he's very high. And he's actually going for the Radiance Rush. I say he's not that fat, I was talking about items. His net worth is really high. 26 gold relic on the way. And with the relic, it just it's gonna mess around with this lifestealer who's. Hey, let's look at hero levels wise. Ember Space level 12. He's two levels above everyone who are the closest to him. And Miracle is only stuck in nine. The musical lane's not really. And I've just been quite impressed so far with you know, this mid, this mid. And they will go for another smoke play. This is what you call not taking foot off the pedal. They want to keep kills. Are rolling into the middle lane with the bottle smash. He need it, and boom, there we go. Life stealer should be dead with the silence. The chain silence, perfect. The shards not going to be going to be able to save him. And they find the last one to Velo, trying for the call. He will burn down, and they will find three. It's a disaster for Boom ID. Without the serpent wards, they cannot take any tier one towers or even push. And Boom ID will go for a tier two tower. Fifteen minutes and seventeen to eight. WK WK W. For those of you who don't know, that's basically the way we laugh in Indonesia. If you ask some of the Indonesians in the chat, that's how you laugh. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Uh, we're, we're facing quite a number of bugs. It's just Dota 2 bugging out. I might have to restart during interval. Please. No, we won't miss. Worst case, I'll have to restart the stream. As well. Apologize again, guys. Hey, they thought about jumping, but now he he's there. He's top lane. But okay, so Warriors Gaming, they're gonna try and invade the jungle with bomb. We'll see if they can find themselves a kill. They put the ward down so they know the blood secret jump out, but they see Bat Rider and the Dazzle there. Trying to kill support, but that's not the idea. Kill, and they will have to force to go for it anyways. Actually, no, they do get the call into the Bat Rider infest. From the high ground, and they will find the Bat Rider with the dunk. Fly Solo does have a nice shot onto In Your Dream, but he's going with the Rupture right now. He's gonna use, he's gonna use it into Miracle. Kes Cute should be dying here. The right clicks. And alright, so with the Ether Blood Shock, and Shadow Shaman gets himself. Alright. Yep, I'm here. Is that alright? Oh, sorry, Zox. Yeah, yep. Never refuse gold given. Fortune's changed. Going until Goldark can hear me. <laughs> Unfortunate. Lots of. Ghost month after all. Seventh month. And yeah, Bloodseeker. I actually went for a Halberd instead, not the Radiance this game, so that's gonna be big against the Lifestealer. And another Infest Bomb on Velo. Oh, they will jump. Be okay if someone actually does go to the lane, but they seem to know what's going on. They, they had no wards there, yeah, so this is very, very unusual. We'll see if they keep on Pretty sure they sense the danger because keep wards. Crazy, these wards out from Boom ID. Really Got sick. It. Dreamer Cell, he's also waiting inside the tree. He doesn't want to show himself. None of them at all. Boom ID, the game. They will actually dodge the gang, so this is a lot of wasted time on Warrior Gaming side. Blade Mill still trying to be built up for Velo. He's actually skipped the 
spreads, whatever. He's just gone straight for the blink. Now he'll show himself with the blood, right? Oh, all right. Warriors Gaming, have, you know, being forced to back off right now. They damage control. They're not farming all too well. Pharaoh's still trying to build into his face boots at the just a bloodstone. Bottom lane, they tried to jump onto the Ember Spirit. And of course, with Joe Cam there, no way they could really jump Dream as well. It's really hard to catch the Ember. Tons of silences. Help him. See. Buff. Even your Battle Rider is more farm than your Lina at this point. Dagger, four staff on the way. Now they're waiting, they're baiting out the bottom lane, seeing if anyone will go there. I know Shawan happens to go there. Boom, will find themselves a very, very tasty kill, but they don't want to go for it. And meanwhile, top lane in your dream, getting the top tier one tower. The map control is definitely faving Boomite. Oh, just with that, guys. Hear me? Still can't hear. Something's a bit up. And worst case scenario, we go back to Discord and. We're trying to get the game sound and actually oh Ember Spirit getting a double kill. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to just restart Dota after this and probably restart the stream. I just bad bugs in Dota born side, so I'm not really sure what's happening, but I promise you by game two we will have in-game sound, so don't worry. You just go back to this. Do, do, just bear of us, yeah. just bear of us a game one, and I'll try to fix the in-game sound. Hey, Dice, are you using speakers? That's really weird because I can hear my. That's your headphones. Are. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That's weird. It wasn't like that the last time we cast. No, I'm not sure where the extra sound is coming from. But okay, yeah, Velos finally does complete his blade mail. I mean, you talked about new talent. This Ember Spirit played it. Dreamo Cell has really, really pressed here. Can you tell me more about this guy? Radiance top tower is getting walloped. Jackal, Firefly, they tried for the infest bomb, Serpent wants to be placed, but the Blood Rat's gonna be just silencing everyone. And actually, in your dream, with a double kill already, Laguna Blade will find one kill, but that's only the support. A nice double shot, uh, sharing chains, they will find one more. Should be the all kill here. Fire Stealer, trapped. Boulder Smash, down he goes, in your dream, with the triple. Green trying to back up, oh. Never refuse gold given. Radiant's top tower needs bandages. And I do worry for them a lot because Miracle is so far behind. He 
I'm um, after a week time. Deso is still on the whippy. That could be their saving grace at killing some heroes. But how do you even siege at this point? Because there's just so much pressure from Boom ID. I like that movement so far. Like that movement has has to be to, has been constantly fighting, 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 forcing Warriors Gaming into a the Ember to just push up lanes for you with his global presence. What do you even do at this point if you can't win a fight, you can't push? Do you just wait for Boom ID to make mistakes? What have we here? Trickster's rule of illusion. Probably must they help the siege well since they do have heroes don't really siege that well so bloodseeker the deso could actually end up paying off see why he also points you at so that's just one way of dealing with it especially since like bloodseeker does decent right click shadow bait halberd basically 200 a click and with the deso that's going to help the siege incredibly faster so now they will go straight to the road john Ember still pushing out the bottom lane, Yule Scepter on the way, and they should be going for another infest ball. Miracle just wants to complete the Deso, but it doesn't seem like he will be given the time. Did they just give up this Roshan? Because, yeah, it looks like they're just going to farm, they're not going to contest around the Rosh Pit, and this Roshan should be going to boom. Unless they can try from some steel shenanigans. What do you do? Oh, if they're really far behind, it's a 10,000 disadvantage. Almost there, actually. Why is they past that mark? Boom ID doing a really slow Roshan. It looks like they won't even get the Rosh. Hello? Awkward. Warriors gaming, they don't want to do what they're going for the call. They're trying to get Dream Cell into the Life Strike array, but the Boulder Smash is going to be there to stop things out. Nice. Oh, nice shards. But yeah, where's the follow up? And now, oh, nice hex. Quick hex. And of course, now the pop up the Magnetize. Going to try and cancel some Blink Daggers here. And St. Lucas is getting the grave. So he's going to be okay. Snowball's going to be hunting him right at the tier 1 tower. Screen should be getting this kill here with the Warriors Punch. And Dream Cell finding another kill to fly solo. In your dream, getting the Courier Snipe. And immediate TP out from the Lena. Meanwhile, Dream Cell just cleaning up shop. There is a gem on the floor. It's a two for one trade. And they still have Vila with the Infest Bomb. So they're going straight back into the Rosh Pit. Do they force it? Support's actually forced, forced it out. Oh, going for the call. Yep, they will find Bloodseeker. So that's a huge amount of gold going to Miracle. And he's going to find his Desolator complete because of that kill. Oh no. Great silence from the Earth Spirit. And of course, we have the spirits for it. Miracle, he's going to try and right click Dream of but he has that haste rune. Really hard to kill. And Miracle should be dying here unless he can arm the toggle. Where's the arm the toggle? It's not going to be enough. The last one's going to be the screen. Can he save his teammate? No. Dream of Self finding a triple kill already. Him the ultra. Where's the rampage? Give daddy the rampage. Nah, he doesn't want the rampage. They really want to give him the rampage. They want to give him the rampage. Look at that teamwork. Team? Team? Oh, oh rampage for Dream of Cell. This is... Kick back from right under the tier 3 tower. That's just really, really sad. And Boom ID are styling over Warriors Gaming in a thousand ways right now. And they will actually look to finish up that Aegis after what seems like forever. 8 minutes in, diving tier 3 towers. No one this is C Dota. No one really to get bloodthirsty, to get very hungry. It all gets to the head. Okay, so Aegis claimed. And Bloodseeker can actually do that Deso very, very soon.
Urko, he does have his own Deso as well, which he did pick up from the Bloodseeker. Come on, but this point he's really, really too far behind. Velo as well, like going to opt for B. B. There's no map control on this side. How do Warriors Gaming find a way back into this? Now that they have, you know, some more key items, or does the game plan still remain the Darcy? Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiant has reinforced their structures. Radiance Middle Tower may need a hand. Dark light. Radiance Middle Tower was smashed into pieces. What have we here? Radiance Middle Tower is not safe. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant's top tower needs Dyer's bandages. bottom tower lies in ruins. Dyer's bottom tower is on its way further down. Radiant's top tower is getting walloped. Radiant's top tower was crushed to smithereens. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower had a tragic mm, Some of them do. But... And she sacrificed buyback. Dyer's middle right, tower so is in the wrong end of the middle tower. They want to you know, get that final nail in the coffin. And you already have the death zone to stream, so this is where he actually sees... Well, you know, bottom lane, Warriors giving one thing which is salvage damage that they did get. How is it below? All right, with the last tracker raid, they will quickly take down the Aegis, but the lasso is going to be that pulling Axe out of, of the shot. Picks up. Can they find Ember? No, it's fits to dodge it. And now the Shackles will rip the Warriors Punch. Can they kill in your dream? Apparently not. Okay. Oh, no. Fear gets blown up by the Spirits. And a Dream will sell once again. Double kill. In your dream, finding the third kill. And of course, with the buybacks out, Velo fighting under the Shrine. Blood right. Damage the shots actually gonna trap two heroes, but will it be enough? And no, the heals from the dazzles way too much, and they will just spirit out. Ready to trap the reset below, trying to force him back in. Oh, kicking away his teammate. Great teamwork here with the silence as well. Miracle trying to right click in your dream, but he's sandwiched in between four enemy heroes with the infest bomb. They will find one kill, won't be able to arm the toggles way through this. And actually, three heroes dead already. Miracle did buy back for that, so it's a die back. Tusker also gonna go down to dream himself, and they're gonna keep going for more. Yep, they can just go straight for the tower with heals, they have plenty. Things to deal with. Oh, the four stuff. Yo, the zero. Oh, the dunk from from Velo, trying to go for the call. This teamwork from Boom ID is just really, really impressive. It's uh, it's actually almost reminiscent of the MVP Phoenix t days of team. Change. Never refuse gold given. Where the power of friendship really comes in, Darcy. I mean, some players they have talked about saying how bond between teammates as friends is really important, and that's why we saw OG. But they, this also plays a role. Especially in C.
Okay. They are immortals right now. So yeah, you know. And from the ashes they Right, so Right away over there. Yeah, Warriors Gaming, they did end up. Oh, the smoke actually broke. They will find a call into the other spirit. Will there be the damage? And yes, with the dunk, they find themselves a quick kill. Trying to catch anyone else off. Can you talk about exp how Warriors Gaming have more experience, right? So, we'll see if this experience will actually pay off. If not, they are smoked up. They actually get the rupture into Velo. Does he have a blade mill? No, he, we do that. So, he's just gonna die and they will just give. That's actually really sick, but oh, hold on. Shadow Shaman, fly solo, you're in the wrong neighborhood, bro. Not sure what he was doing there. Brad Dota, dude. Yep, down to half HP. Let the Rat Dota commence. Okay, Lena getting chained up. Yeah, Dream of Cell. I think he might even keep on going for this kill. Oh, the nice side of fist dodge. And he will end up getting the deny, but it's still a pretty big thing. Bloodstone charges going down, mana regen also going down. Dream of Cell. He's having a fun game at this point. Really, really fun game. He's already gotten a rampage. He's top of the net worth. Highest KDA in the game. What else can you ask? Whisper it. So farmed. Oh, I think we might be seeing a dead Shadow Shaman. Yeah, nowhere to go. One, two. So, I I feel very sad if you're the sports. Like, I feel sad even if you're a miracle on this life stealer because there are no real like passives which you can disable. Blood, you know, Blood Seeker Silver Edge this game, but because of the damage reduction, I feel it's gonna be so really good against Miracle's life stealer. As it is, they are showing that they lack DPS. Just look at Miracle, he's in the bottom half of the network. Chart. Now he's kind of kind of climbing to the half. But the fact that it still remains, he has no space to farm this game. How many times has this Lina died? And it looks like they will find the Shadow Shaman as well going for the Hex, but this double damage Ember Spirit wants to give him the D. And alright, they all start going straight to the Shrine. Oh, Velo. Trying to catch the Ember Spirit. He has to use up to juke things out. He rolled the Spirit out. But in your dream, Warriors Punch to try and stall this Bloodseeker. But he's really, really painful. Miracle wants to kill someone off. He infests into the creeps. Oh, that really long shackle. The Grave. And the shots actually could, not really going to do too much. And they will just roll back out. Disengage first. But now comes Velo trying to pull someone back in. Trying to pull that Bat Rider in. Bolo Smash. On to two. Actually on to three. The Snowball going to save his teammate. But actually three heroes already down. And looks like Screen is also dead. And this should be a GG right there if they can't kill these heroes off. By Solo. By Solo's dead. So Dream of Cell of a great game. Already getting a ton of kills and on a Beyond Godlike streak. This should be the tier 3 tower, of course, with the Desert from the Bloodseeker. The Urn Charges here will be back up to very, very healthy hit. Shards, they're trying to stall this push. The fortification already used. Should be a lane of racks. No buybacks on the side of Warriors Gaming. This is Quite the disaster on the side of Warriors Gaming. 43 to 16, 21,000 net worth lead. Now going for the Firefly and the Lasso. They find the Tuskar. Tusk is dead. Boom, we'll go straight for another tier 3 tower. Vera pushing out the top lane. Trying to complete that BKB, but no, they're no, nowhere near done. Joseph to Vera popping his BKB. That's his 10 second BKB wasted just like that, and boom, that's a big win for them, just like that. And they just TP out. So, they take the tier 3 tower. 
and the base looks very very damaged Oh, they have the last zone to Fiero. Call on the back, trying for the infest bomb, but it's not going to be having the change to cancel his TP. Fiero is dead again for the count for 72 seconds, and it looks like the axe will follow him as well. And Miracle, unable to get any damage off, he will also go down. He has a buyback, but flies holding on for dear life with that shackle, and four heroes dead. Only the life stealer with buyback, and that will be the GG. Screen has had enough, he's just waiting in the base. GG end, just end mid. Die.